Hello, beautiful people. My name's Becca and this is Sammy. And we're here for our very first video on YouTube to share with you a little bit about what it's like to be a vegan living in a small community. We live in the Flint Hills of Kansas in the heart of meat country. It's a small town and I know that a lot of people want to explore what it's like to be a vegan, want to try out new vegan recipes, or just simply don't feel like they have a lot of time, or just not sure what to do to get started. And in a place like Emporia, Kansas, where we live, it can be really challenging to get started. So we thought maybe we'd share with you some of the trials and challenges, but also the simple things that you can do to make things easier to try and incorporate a little bit of the vegan lifestyle into your daily life. So this again. So in this video, we're gonna walk you through a day of eating with me. Um, it's going to be a busy day for me. I am working and I'm rushing to get out the door. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I do to make my life a little bit easier to make sure that I get things done that I have to get done. So um, this involves sometimes shakes in the morning, it sometimes involves eating out and finding restaurants that provide vegan friendly food. And if I can find vegan friendly food in Emporia, Kansas, you can find vegan food anywhere, promise you. But um, and then, um, for dinner, we'll go through just a simple kind of meal, sort of. It's not the simplest meal that I would always make, on a busy night, but I happen to have it in my fridge, and so I'll show you um, what we end up making. So kick back, relax, enjoy some uh, relaxing lo-fi tunes, and hope you enjoy seeing our day. So the very first thing I do every single morning is to crawl out of bed, walk into the kitchen and make myself a nice cup of coffee. I love starting my day this way and I usually use a creamer, a vegan creamer of course, and my favorite one right now is Super Creamer, which um, has some MCT oils and helps give me energy throughout the day and has very limited sugars, so I highly recommend it. So the next thing I typically do is to do some sort of exercise. I know this isn't eating, but I think it's really important because, you know, exercise and eating go hand in hand. And I just wanted to show off my cute little dogs who definitely wanted to work out with me today too. I'm being so silly. Teddy in particular, he just wanted all of the love. For breakfast this morning, I was rushing out, so I grabbed a swimlet and I got my banana flavor, which is my favorite. On my walk, I saw some beautiful birds. There was a whole lot of them in the sky. It's around 10 a.m. I needed another cup of coffee because it, it's been a long, long week doing midterms and stuff. So coffee number two with oat creamer. Then around lunchtime, I decided I was gonna meet up with my partner and he, um, gifted me some yummy food and I decided to go on a walk and show you the beautiful weather that we ended up getting here in Kansas. So this is part of the university that I work on and it was just a beautiful day. Got my food and sat down outside to enjoy the weather and oh god it was so gorgeous. I had a salad with some vinaigrette, which was from a local restaurant, and it's not a vegan restaurant, but they do offer these vegan cauliflower wings. And then I walked, and I didn't have anything to drink, so I needed to go get some water. I went over to a local grocery store and grabbed um, some Life Water, which is adorable. I don't know if you've ever seen the packaging on Life Water before, but it's beautiful. So this particular one has a beautiful portrait on it and um, it was bottled in um, a local area and it was time to go back to work. But you know, I'm going to run out of energy sometime during the day so it's time for a snack and I always keep bananas in my office so and a couple other snacks too so I have energy on the go. Then it was time to walk to pick up my daughter and again you get another nice view at the Kansas weather that we're having today. Perfect autumn. 
picked up my girl and on the way home we saw some beautiful, beautiful mushrooms. Aren't they sweet? I love mushrooms. All right, it's dinner time here at our house. So I decided I was gonna make a HelloFresh meal. Um, I'm not sponsoring this at all. In fact, I just canceled my subscription. I got it to try it out because they had a veggie option and come to find out veggie means vegetarian and not vegan, which is really disappointing and I had to go and you know modify a lot of them, but this one happens to be vegan. This is a miso soup and um, a noodle soup. It really is pretty easy, but it, a little time consuming as a lot of soups are, so you just have to get in there wash up your vegetables make sure you follow the direction so yeah mushroom and soy ramen with fried onions oh, i love fried onions here's a little preview of um, the things that we have to do with it so you only need a couple items of your own otherwise they send you everything else and a lot of the work is just doing some preparation <laughs> gotta chop all the vegetables you gotta play with the cat <laughs> this is mr j isn't he wonderful he's giant very chunky So a lot of the time that I spend doing these HelloFresh meals, it is entirely just chopping vegetables. But I, I love HelloFresh and meal kits like this because it you know, makes me ensure that I'm eating enough vegetables and not just eating junk food all day. So one of my meals I try to make so, so that has a lot of vegetables in it and this one has a lot. So the meal ended up taking me about oh, 50 to 60 minutes because of waiting for the water to boil. I'm just laughing at myself because uh, I love these fried onions, and, uh, uh, crispy fried onions, and I'm just snacking on them. And uh, yeah, they didn't all make it into my food. I'm listening to NPR here, and there, there's a lot happening with this. So while I was waiting for my water to boil, I decided I was going to grab one of my favorite non-alcoholic beers. This is called Wellbeing. It's an IPA, and they have removed almost all, I think it's 0.5% left in there of alcohol. And it's brewed pretty locally, and it's delicious. And then I cuddled with Teddy. Now, Teddy is my daughter's dog, um, and he is so sweet. He is a miniature poodle who needs a grooming really bad, but we named him Teddy Bear for a reason. You're going to see why. I just sit here cuddling with him, and oh, he just hugs you. He's the cutest little boy ever. If you haven't noticed, we have quite a few pets. We've got Sammy and Teddy and Mr. J, which is our cat, and then we also have Lizzie, which you won't see today. Lizzie's a cat, by the way. All right, we're finally making progress here. Our ramen is going to go in and it's going to boil for just a little while. And I'm going to you know, make sure I stir it and so forth, make sure it's all taken care of and drain it and all that good stuff making sure that we didn't overcook it here it only took like two minutes to cook ramen it's so fast so if you ever go and buy some um japanese ramen and just cook it at home it's so easy the rest of it's just you know getting the soup going that's what that that's what came next so this soup was super easy. It just had water and some seasonings and um, some onion and garlic, I think. All of the seasonings for the most part came with the meal kit, so I didn't actually have to get any of them, but I already have a lot of these things in my cupboard. So I just keep a lot of the recipes and I can use them later on. All right, once that soup was done, I just let it simmer there and I had to go through and, you know, make these um, beautiful mushrooms into something delicious. So they're gonna cook for, I think it was like eight minutes, so not terribly long. Um, and then they just go right into the soup. It's that easy, honestly. You can do this easily without a meal kit. I love the sound of frying food. You're listening to Texas Public Radio, and the time is 
Well, now it's all done. I just have to put it together and enjoy it. I just had to show you. It was so pretty. Oh, I love soup. I make a lot of soup like this, even without a meal kit. And they're super easy and typically don't take this long, but this one did for a while. And you can see my pet hair <laughs> covered shirt there. It's a little embarrassing, but you know, I love my animals. You can go to the mushrooms and the noodles are already in there with the, the soup. Oh, I'm so ready. Now isn't that beautiful? Oh, so good. Used by half a million businesses with a single platform for video. Alright, last but not least, Oreos. Every vegan's favorite treat. Well, my favorite treat. Alright, that was my whole day. I hope you enjoyed seeing how you can easily eat like a, a vegan in um, a rush, but also in a small town like uh, Emporia, Kansas. So. Um, I really hope that you share with me some of the tips and tricks that you have for finding vegan food on the go and um, also healthy options because I like to make sure that I'm eating really healthy, balanced, nutritious meals. All right, well, um, leave a comment below if you have any questions for me about um, what it's like here in Emporia, Kansas and what it's like to be a vegan. I'm happy to answer those and I hopefully will see you in a future video. Bye, y'all. Sammy says goodbye to you. Bye, everybody.